We started JLB Project in 2007. My son was still born at full term. If there had been a community of parents who had also lost their children, that would have made our journey a little bit easier. And so that's what my husband and I set out to do, was to make the journey easier for the others who had lost their children. We receive calls from the hospital. The families that know their baby won't be viable with life or um, their baby is no longer alive. We go up and we deliver beautiful care bags. And inside these bags is everything I wish I would have had. Um, there's hand and foot molds and beautiful memory boxes and clothes that the families can dress their babies in. And we really encourage families to take as much time with their baby because they'll never get it back. Um, I also offer my photography services to document their time with their baby. Honestly, they're trying to live a lifetime in a matter of hours with that child. The proposed memorial is set to be placed inside of Box Glen Park. The project, however, is still awaiting approval from Parks and Recreation and City Council. The idea for the memorial park, having a place where people can get into the ground and plant things and nurture something. and take the families to a place where they can explain the cycle of life to their children, um, a place that's easily accessible, that those children are remembered I think is really important. Putting a memorial wall in a public park where there's swing sets and slides and um, a place where we could pack a picnic, I think it would be a beautiful addition to our community. And it would also make public declaration that our community supports these families and the loss of their children. For NAZ Today, I'm Adrian Garola.